Hi, this is David. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new profile in Microsoft Edge web browser. Profiles are useful if you want to have different settings and different accounts associated with different browsers. We start by opening up Microsoft Edge and going up to right at the top right, you'll see this icon here right now, it's got a picture of me on it, but could have just initials on it. That's your default profile. You always have one default profile. Notice I have two profiles. I have one for work and one for personal, and they're associated with different email addresses. If I want to create a new profile, I come down here and I say add profile, and then it explains what this means, and I click on add, and now I can sign in to sync data. What that means is that I can specify an email account, and it remembers that I've used this one before, or I can just click down here and add a new account. I'll do that because you probably won't have that here. I'll type in a different email account. This is another personal account that I have. Sign in. It may prompt you for your password. In this case, it didn't prompt me because I'm. Um, uh, it remembers the cache by password from recent ones. And here, then you can. Uh, Confirm and start browsing. It'll say some things about this. Do I want to join Microsoft Rewards? I'll say no, thank you. Here, next, it just gives you some information. They can select what color theme ones it is. It might be a good idea to have each profile have a different theme, a different color theme, so that you can easily recognize which one is forward and uh, more information about what you can do. And then click finish. And here we are. Now we're in a new profile right here. And you'll see right up the top here. It shows there's my profile right here. And this one happens to have a picture associated, but if I wanted to change that, I can go to settings. You see, also notice it's just called personal too. I don't really like that. What I'm going to do is click these three dots here and go down to settings. And as, oh, by default, it selects profiles because that's the first one here. Uh, but if it's not, you click on profile in the left menu. And then right at these three dots right next to your profile, you can click on those and edit the profile and give it a more descriptive name, my awesome demo GCast profile, whatever you want to call it, and update it there, and it'll show up there. You can also come in here and change the picture if you want. By default, it'll just have some initials there. Um, I've already added a photo for this count right here, but you can come in here and change that if I wanted to go down to, uh, I've got some pictures uh, here uh, that I could use if I wanted to. Let's, how about that one right there? It looks pretty good. And I can zoom in, zoom out, et cetera, and move it around as I see fit. And there we go. So let's go ahead and close these things. Again, it's asking about rewards passwords, all sorts of things, but those are, uh, you can do those if you want, but they're not really necessary for what we're doing. Um, and now what happens is that right here, I have three profiles. I have my awesome demo GCast profile and personal and work. I can switch between them um, as I see fit. When I go back over to work, then I can come back into my awesome personal one. If I wanted to delete this profile when I'm tired of it, I can go back up here to the three dots and then settings. Under profiles, do these three dots and just remove it. And remove that there. And now I no longer have that third profile. If I click on this, I only have, I'm back to just two profiles here. You can delete the second one if you want. You can never delete the first one. You always have to have at least one profile. And this is pretty nice. If I wanted to sometimes sign in by default with my work email account, sometimes sign in by default with my, with my, um, personal email or a second personal email, or maybe I've got a customer that I'm working with and I want to have some kind of integrated authentication with that and single sign on with, with that particular account, then it facilitates that. I've shown you now how to create a new profile using Microsoft Edge, manage that profile and remove that profile. This is David. Thank you for watching. Yeah.